Hello everyone, uh, this is Dhananjay from MDM support team. Today we will be talking about the task functionality in 10.3. So agenda for today is uh, ta overview of task functionality in 10.3. How to create a task template, uh, create and triggers. How to do configurations around task manager and task inbox. Uh, how to use task manager in legacy IDD subject area configuration. Some uh, demo around uh, uh, task configure task functionalities, and then we'll see like few REST calls, uh, how to make REST calls uh, for task uh, management. So first, uh, let's uh, start with uh, uh, task triggers. So in business entity uh, model, now tasks are created through triggers. So what you do like through provisioning tool. Uh, you do a trigger configuration and there are like certain events like a create B, update B, merge, match, unmerge. You do a trigger configuration around that and you say there should be a task created when these tri uh, triggers are called. So what system does whenever there is a scenario these triggers are called for for example for create B. So what it does like it creates a record in a pending state and underneath it fires a workflow that goes for uh, certain rows for approval once those tasks are approved then only record becomes active in system. Next is uh, configuring uh, a task inbox and task manager. Now there is way to customize task inbox and task manager. If I don't want to see all the default fields configured in task manager or task inbox, now there is option where I can customize and I can say I am interested in few of them, not of all of them. You make those changes from again from provisioning tool and you publish and when you go to E360 UI, you see those specific fields that you might have interested. Apart from this, there is option to configure display filters. Uh, in 10.3, we have new filters at in my task, all task. If I want to customize my filters and say like the default filters, if, uh, I don't want to see. For example, I am not interested in seeing all closed tasks. I can remove the all uh, closed task uh, filters from my view. And where, when I go to E360 application, I will not see closed tasks. I will see uh, other filters like open task, claim task, etc. Apart from uh, apart from basic configuration, there is a advanced setup in 10.3 where we do support XML based configuration for task inbox and manager. Where you go and you say like, okay, these are the displayable fields I want to see for my inbox or task manager. Apart from that, there is a very interesting configuration called exclude task type. What it does it removes uh, uh, you say um, exclude type you mention the specific task type that you don't want to see publish your changes when you go to ui you will not see that specific type in your inbox or task manager another interesting uh, configuration is task uh, comment and task attachment now we do when you create a task there is the option where you say like i want to attach a uh, user need to attach some document or you need to put some comment activos do support like task att attach document in workflows uh, there is a supporting api from activos so what happens like uh, from provisioning tool you uh, do a configuration for a specific task type there should be a task or a ta ta task attachment or task comment needs to uh, user needs to add. So once you do that configuration, every time you create task, you need to uh, you need to have a supporting uh, document and comments you need to put. By default, uh, for document we do support PDF and JPG. But if you want to customize that, like you are you you have a use case where you want to uh dot doc, doc, doc file so what you do you go to cmx property and this specific uh, property cmx dot file dot allowed file extension you change it as per your business use case next topic is task manager for subject areas 
so for us, uh, customers who are like moving from uh, 10.0 to 10.3 and they have a existing IDD application and they don't want to migrate to a business entity model but at the same time some customers they are interested in seeing the task manager uh, tab so now in 10.3 with subject area configuration you can enable task manager tab uh, how you do that uh, you go to cmx property and you say like a data view for data view task manager uh, enable equal to true so what it does it when you go to your ui you'll have subject area based configuration but task manager tab will appear and this configuration is avail available for active or subject area co uh, configuration only this will not work for cyperian or native workflows now let's move to demo uh, i have uh, logged into provisioning tool and you see for task configuration you have template task type triggers so first let's go through one by one templates templates for task whatever templates you want to configure here you specify what uh, title you want to use due dates comments etc task type you uh, what are the task type you want to configure for a specific workflow uh, what all role this task type should go and this specific task type is applicable for what business entities and apart from this you configure what should be task action that is also uh, configured through here most important triggers you see you define a trigger you specify a name triggers and what event most important what events you specify here for example this trigger is used for create b and update b then roles what roles uh, what once a trigger is configured what role will have access right also which business entity this trigger will be used for for example here i'm using it for person now let's go to the trigger uh, configuration here specify trigger name start workflow if this checkbox is disabled what will happen for this specific trigger create or be trigger uh, trigger will be fired but it will not create any task now in my use case i want to create task so what i have done i have enabled it so first thing after enabling the start workflow you specify what template you want to use in task type you specify what should, what is first human task in your workflow then what kind of task it is and then the process what which process you want to invoke from activos Apart from this, you specify the attachment and uh, uh, comment what we discussed in presentation. These two configurations, uh, it has options like you can make it optional, you can make it required, or you can disable it if you don't want for uh, for your functionality. Next, uh, I have uh, I have landed to a task manager configuration page. You see the basic configuration it says what are the displayable fields if you want what you want to configure here you specify what what you want you keep those fields in the selected field if you don't want you just drag them to the available fields and publish your changes in my configuration i want to use the advanced config advanced and here as we discussed in presentation this is a XML based configuration. You say like what all displayable fields you want to see. Apart from that, what specific task type you want to exclude that you, you can add here. Similar configuration you do for task inbox. I go to my task inbox. I have multiple task inbox configured. First one is very generic. Um, it has like displayable fields you and uh, in display filters i don't want to see closed tasks so i have removed the closed tasks so what should happen when i log in i will not see it closed tasks tab. apart from that i do have advanced configuration where you can say like what all fields you want to see here i did not any add anything for the exclude i have a specific task inbox configured so where i don't want to see any merge task right so for that what i have done i have done a xml configuration and in exclude task type i said like 
act a was b merge should be excluded so what should happen for this specific task in box i should not see any merge task so i have like two task in boxes configured i publish this changes once i log into idd uh, e360 application i should see two in box now i have logged into my e360 application as you see like i have um, uh, two task in boxes that uh, that i have configured in my home page and now when i logged in uh, see first task in box is very generic it has all kind of task including merge type but if i go to uh, go to my uh, other task in box where i said i don't want to see any a was b merge task you see if in the type it does not pull even any that task type next we'll talk about the rest uh, rest api calls for task uh, so outside uh, outside e360 application now we do have like rest apis uh, for different task functionalities for example if i want to get a bpm metadata there is a rest available for that if i want to list all task if i want to read all task details in my environment if i want to create any task outside uh, uh, outside e360 if i want to update any uh, existing task or if i am interested in completing the existing task we do have rest api calls supporting this functionality my first example uh, through uh, browser uh, what i am doing for for a specific ors i want to say like i want to see all meta bpm metadata details so see it gives me all uh task type uh, all details regarding task configuration next example is i want to list it's a list task uh, call so i want to list all task uh, 100 first 100 tasks with status open if you fire this call from browser something like this you will see all task uh, first 100 task uh, with status open in your environment now next example is i am firing a post call and i pass the details like ors id and then say task and in my it's a json call where in the body i am passing all the details uh, like what kind of task uh, whom it should be assigned to all those details i pass basically this call will create a task so if you have a use case outside application if you want to create a call uh, create a uh, create task so you can have a rest uh, json based call something like this what it will do it will create a task uh, in activos you see it has created this uh, task with process id this so if you go to if you go to activos you should see a task created with process id 11937 next example is i am fire uh, uh, i am firing a rest call a put call and i here i am providing a existing task id and what i want to do right now i change the i want to change the priority right now it is sitting as low i'm firing a rest call to update the priority to high so call was successful you see it is saying like it has a it returned like update task uh, return now if you see like i'm firing a rest call for the same task and if you see the priority of the task has changed to high so that is all i wanted to cover as part of this session thanks for your time